Hi guys and welcome, Ktenbon here with this compact shocker box unloading and sorting station. This is the, your way to store massive amounts of items in one place and access these items directly. It can store non-stackable items, stackable to 16 and stackable to 64. The entire contraption is too wide and it works simply by us taking items from that chest. If you take item from that chest and it gets empty, the new shulker boxes will be unpacked. We have the shulker box storage up top and then empty shulker boxes land in the chest below. It's the entire contraption is too wide. There is a one wide option over there, but it's not tileable because they have some exposed redstone. Feel free to come up with a tileable design. This is essentially how this works, is we put our filled shulker boxes, for the purpose of the demonstration we'll be using shulker boxes filled a little bit with items, so you can observe how this works. So we have here a shulker box that was already emptied, but there is something in that hopper. And how this works is essentially our shulker box is being emptied through that hopper, but we read this content, and whenever this hopper gets empty, this engages this monostable which pulses this piston. This is another monostable here that triggers this dropper using bad power through that chest actually, and gives us a new shulker box. So if, for example, empty this shulker box, you can see that the new shulker box gets ejected and all the items flow through it. And there is a brief moment when we unpower this block over here, which allows us to grab our shulker box and put it in the chest below. You can see it in action better over here. We have here a chest for dirt. This is our dirt shulker box. We have here three more shulker boxes. This one is already empty. There is some stuff here. So if you take dirt from this box, this gets empty. Yeah, we can hear that there are two clicks to it, which is fine, because this dual edge monostable triggers this dispenser twice, but once it's not, not capable of doing it, and the second time is fine. And this lamp here signifies that there's actually a little bit of a brief moment when that this hopper is unpowered, meaning that when we break the shulker box, it actually, instead of going directly through that hopper to that container, it actually goes to this chest below. So this doesn't need uh, any sorting system, which means that we can use it for any type of items. As I said, non-stackables work as well, it's actually quite important. And now when everything is done, we have this on the left, we have this circuitry that detects changes in the hopper that feeds shulker boxes to that dispenser over here. So when we run out of items, the, the problem would be here, like if you put empty shulker boxes here, nothing happens because there's no trigger to do that. So we have a trigger over here. When we have a change in this hopper here, like if we put new shulker boxes, it actually sends a pulse to that torch, which means that if this is uh, unpowered, this is all empty, we actually trigger the system once more. So let's uh, see how this works. So if we put our shulker boxes over here, boom, we have an action and we are triggered the system again. And the new dirt is flowing to this hopper. The entire contraption can be one wide, however it will lack this reset mechanism, which is pretty important in my opinion. But if you don't mind, after emptying the entire system from shulker boxes, if you want to put your shulker boxes over here, just need to press this button and your system is primed. So you can do it one wide, quite compact way of storing your items. You can extend it a little bit and you can put this dual edge monostable on top to just reading when we open this and close the chest. You can here in the lower left corner, if I open this chest, this piston will blink. Meaning that actually resetting this system. The problem with this design, because technically we should activate from this chest, we have to activate this block. That's why we had it on the side in the previous solution. This way we only are essentially triggering again this observer block which means that we may end up having some full shulker boxes in this output shulker box, so that's not ideal. This is one wide, but it's not tileable, so we can technically put the next shulker box over here, and this should be fine. This is compatible also with chest minecarts, which is quite kind of helpful because we can stack them in one place. However, since entities are kind of glitchy, I wouldn't rely on it. I would rather put 10 double chests. And in those 20 uh, chests uh, plus something, you can store 16,000 water bottles. Or if you use 16 stack items, you can store a quarter of a million ender pros, for example, or 1 million blocks of dirt or what have you. And you can also take this output from this shulker box and fetch it for the brewing system for your XP farm and, and whatnot. At the end, one word of caution. Unfortunately, for example, for this system, to fill it up, you need 500 shulker boxes, which in survival is not really achievable in a legit ways. 
because shulkers do not respawn, shulkers are not renewable. I mean, you can roam in your world and you can find 1200 shulkers. It shouldn't be any problem, but your disc will suffer. So this is not ideal way of getting shulker boxes. So until there is a better solution, unfortunately, the only way to do it is to use any form of item duplication, which is unfortunate. And I already confirmed that in 111, hopper duplication is unfortunately still a thing. But it seems like this is the only way of getting large number of shulker shells and shulker boxes. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, share with others, and if you have something to add, leave me a comment in the comment area below. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.